Hey YouTube, this is Chanel, known as 77 Professional, and this is my second video of the day. I am really going in. It is hot as I don't know what down here in the south. I'm sweating like crazy, um, and I'm going to do another two videos in one, try to knock this out. One is about the um, L'Oreal Studio Secrets. Um, magic perfecting base and the other one is my top three four five six seven eight nine nine because I just couldn't find the tenth one but my top nine nude lipsticks for um, women of color um, brown skin women dark skin women lighter shades of women you know, anyone can wear these, but I'm particularly talking about women or of someone of the same color um, as me. So first, I'm going to start off with this Magic Perfecting Base. Um, I'm, I do not wear any foundation. Um, it's hard for me, not that it's hard for me to match foundation, but I'm just so like touchy-touchy with my face that a lot of times when I do wear foundation, it's just not a good look afterwards. And I just, you know, I'd rather just worry about trying to clear up what I already have. That way I don't have to worry about um, foundation. But for those of you women out there and men who wear foundation, um, I love the way that they apply because it, it, it looks so natural, like almost flawless. And I'm not yet comfortable with wearing foundation yet, but I know that um, this Magic Perfecting Base, they say is a good base for foundation. However, since I don't wear foundation, I do use concealer. And um, how do I use concealer without using a foundation? Um, I just, I get something very, very, very close to my skin tone and I just blend it in as much as I can with my skin tone without it looking like I have, like I have a, um, I have a concealer right now. And um, the concealer that I do have on is just an e.l.f. concealer and I believe it's Spice. And I find that that blends out with my skin tone. I don't need a hell of a lot of coverage, but I do, you know, have like the, the dark circle up under the eyes. So sometimes when I wear my makeup, you know, I would prefer for it to look a little more lighter than, you know, darker. But um, if anyone knows, has any other use, you guys can tell me what you if if you use it, um, how do you use it, and can you do a bit on and show me exactly how do you use your um, magic perfecting base? Like I said, I use mine, and you know what I'm gonna be honest with you, I find it to work very 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 well for filling in my lines up underneath my um, eyes. Like before I started using this, I would just moisturize up under my eyes put my moisturizer on or whatever and then I would apply my concealer but the concealer still would get like in the creases but this here I find that once I blend it in very well it really smooths out that um con the, the concealer to where it doesn't look like those lines are there I also find this and I'm not trying to be funny but I also found this good for like when um, I have fallout on my eye from doing my shadow I take a very little bit and I swoop it on my um where the shadow is and it picks up the shadow so 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 well where it doesn't leave like a mess or anything like that um these were given to me i didn't purchase these i have like three they were given to me um from my sister-in-law and um i'm just trying to find a way where i can use it um if i'm using it so far so so well it's working good for the concealer so but um, if you could do a video response of how you guys uh, choose to use the L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base, I would appreciate it. And moving right along, because I want to make this really quick. Okay. Next. Oh, my hair is a mess. It was curled and it fell. <laughs> All right. Next. My um, nine, because... I was kind of rushing. I didn't want to take my time and really look for the tint lipstick, even though I know I have one. Um, I'm going to start off with just these nine. So, um, 
my new lips that I wear, what I have on now is Max Loving It. And it's not, it works well, you know, with my, with, with me, but I have others that I, I use way more than that. So first I'm going to start off with the NYX. Well, you guys know about NYX, I don't have to, you know, go into it. Um, this is Hermes, and I actually, um, believe I got this from Vonda. Vonda83, I don't want to be messing up her name, I'm sorry. But she was the first person that recommended this as a nude. And I actually love this. Um, I have like three of these, and I definitely want to order some more. This is, to me, the perfect nude on my lip. And it's just a nice, nice brownish color. It's really, really nice. Um... I don't know if you can see it. I'll have another swatch of something else on my hand, but I'm gonna swatch it. And this is like a it's like a rosy, almost it's more brown, definitely, but it has like a, a slight tint of a rose pink in there somewhere, maybe like the undertone of it. But it's a nice, 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 nice um new lip. And this is probably my favorite new lip. This is what I, I, I gravitate towards a lot. The next NYX um, lipstick I do have is Mars. And this one, oh, this is the new one. I should have grabbed another one. But this is more of a pink, a pink nude. A pink nude lip. Which I like this as well. But I really, I go for that one much more. And this is Mars in the uh, NYX. Then I have another one, which is a Revlon one. And you know what? I had this maybe for the last three months. And I refuse to actually use it all the time because I can't. I don't know if this is discontinued. It's a super lustrous um, by Revlon. It's number 125. It's a cream. And it's called New Velvet. And I love, 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 love this. I'm going to put that right above the Mars. And I, as you can see, they're really close, but Mars definitely have have more of a pink tone to it. It, it. it just tends to pop. This is a little more muted than the Mars. So that's Her, Hermes. This is Mars, and this is the Revlon um, Nude Velvet. And it looks really, 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 really nice. The next one I have is a Rimmel. 680, which is Precious Brown, and this looks a lot. Actually, I did a um, a dupe on my blog, Beauty Fantasies Fulfill BFF at Blogspot.com. On this is a dupe for Max Loving It. It's like identical. It's like really, 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 really identical. And I'm gonna swatch that right next to the Revlon right on top. And that one is also, this one has more of a spark. It's not, it has a little more sheen to it. It's definitely not like a frost or a glaze or anything, but it just has like a very minimal sparkle to it, which is nice. Um, I'm not complaining. I'm definitely more of a cream matte type of, or luster type of person. I don't like too much sparkle stuff in my lipstick. Okay, the next one is part of the CoverGirl um, Lip Perfection. And this, it was my all-time summer lipstick. It gives you gives your face just this peachy glow. Um, I also use it with like a peach blush, a natural eye, natural brown eye. Oh my gosh, it's, I love it. This one is called Delish number 255. And this one is actually, it's close to Mars, but not quite, quite there. This is, packs way more punch. This is more of a peach. This is more of a pink, um, the Mars. And that color is, I'm telling you, you girls, 
If you don't have Delish, run out and go get it because it is just that color. It's such a pretty nude. And I've worn this with all kinds of different types of looks and it always tends to, to fit. You know, I love like soft greens and purple eyeshadows and stuff like that. I love that. I love that. I'm trying to find if I can find another one close to this, to this Delish. The next one, the last three are three max, and this one is a luster, and it's called Naked to the Core. And I don't know what collection this may have came out with. I bought this at a CCO, so if you know, let me know, because I have no idea, but the color is gorgeous. And that's that color down here. That's Naked to the Core. And it's close to, it's not really like any of the colors I have on. It may look like that on camera, but it's not quite there. All right, so that's naked to the core. We all know us girls love our fresh brew, and that's what this is. As you can see, I've used this quite a lot. And I'm going to put fresh brew right up underneath naked to the core. And what I like about this is definitely a brown type of um, new, like a, the, it's just a pretty color. It's just a really nice new lip. It doesn't have any type of pink undertones in it. It's more of a brown, taupey type of color, I would say. And last but not least, is the only matte one I have and this is Velvet Teddy and I'm going to swatch that right up underneath the Herms, the NYX Hermes or Herms and this is Velvet Teddy and it's coming out a little bit pinker than what it would look like in, in person but this is basically it and this is a matte so this is um, Velvet Teddy this is NYX's NYX is Hermes. This is Mars. This is Revlon um, Vel Nude Velvet. This is the Rimmel and Precious Brown. This is CoverGirls Delish. This is um, Max Negative to the Core. And this is Fresh Brew. So those are my nudes. Those are my everyday go to nudes when I don't want to put on color. I will do a video on lipsticks that pinks, purples, fuchsias, all types of colors that I think look really, really, really pretty on all women, women of color. So I'm going to post that video. That will be my next video. You guys check it out and let me know what you think. That is, I'm telling you guys, check out that Delish. I'm serious. It is a gorgeous color. I should have put that on today because it really would have looked nice with this uh, sage green eyeshadow. So, you guys, let me know. Bye, Bella Babes. Check you guys later. Bye.